kind of scratching my head thinking C O P N T. Uh, I don't know. But it kind of sounds like something I might have heard before. C O P D. No, none at all. I've no idea what C O P D is. Are you going to tell me what it is? I've got no idea. What is it? COPD stands for Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease and it's a disease that affects the breathing tubes to the lung and also the air sacs to the lung and it causes chronic bronchitis and emphysema. This is a very common condition. For example, we know that in the UK there are 900,000 diagnosed cases, but we calculate there are 2.8 million people with this condition. And the discrepancy of this nearly 2 million is because so many people who are current or ex-smokers have the condition, but they don't realize it. And the British Lung Foundation is mounting a campaign to find these missing millions. And we are um, lung function testing people all over the country with, with great success. We're finding a considerable percentage of people who hitherto had no idea they've got lung disease who have abnormal lung function. COPD is predominantly a condition caused by smoking. So the younger age at which you start smoking, the number of cigarettes a day that you smoke and the number of years that you smoke will have a profound influence on your chances of getting COPD. One of the problems with the lungs is they have an enormous amount of reserve capacity. So if you are a smoker and you are um, at risk of getting COPD, by the time the condition presents in day-to-day -day life by cough and phlegm and breathlessness, it can be quite advanced. If, however, you're very fit and you do a lot of running and, and exercise, you may notice it earlier because you test your lungs more. If you suspect as an individual you might have COPD, there are both symptoms you can look out for and there are tests you can have done to see if you have lung disease or not. The first thing a smoker who is developing COPD will notice is cough. And the cough will very soon become productive of mucus. So the individual will start to have a cough first thing in the morning, usually of clear mucus. They will have a higher risk and incidence of chest infections requiring antibiotics. There's no such thing as a smoker's cough. A cough is an abnormal feature, particularly if it's associated with the production of mucus. In addition to that, of course, with all this going on, they may start to become breathless. And the breathlessness may only come on uh, with um, severe exertion to begin with. But as the condition, which is chronic, uh, becomes worse, people get breathless on much more minimal exertion. And then, of course, they should see their general practitioner, and of course, he should have lung function tests carried out. But if you want further information, I would suggest you go to the BLF's website, which is lunguk.org, or ring our helpline, which is 08458 505020.